this is as weird as I thought. Look at look at this thing. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for right there. Absolute buffoonery right here. Oh my God, something just attacked it. There's one. Oh, that's a good fish too. Woo, what is up everybody? New camera. Same old Lojo. So let me let me know how this new camera works. Does it make me look any better? Does it make me seem any more professional or are we just dealing with the same old crap here? I don't think it makes a difference anyway, but hopefully you guys are enjoying this uh, new fancy camera. Boy, do I have a treat for you guys in today's video. I have a box right here. And in this box is the key to today's fishing journey. So I was on a little website called Wish.com recently. As you guys may or may not know, Wish.com is an app and a website where you can find just about anything. The thing is though, there are some very weird and strange items on Wish, some of which are priced very, very, very low and cheap. Another strange thing that somebody might say about Wish.com is some of the products that you get from there is a little, little sketchy, to say the least. So I was poking around on Wish.com the other day and I came across this box. Now, what is supposedly in this box is, now keyword supposedly, because I have not opened it. There's supposed to be everything in that box that one would need to go fishing. So we're talking about fishing rod, fishing reel, lures, line, hooks, literally everything that you're supposed to need. Now I've ordered things from wish.com before and you know I've gotten them and some products have gotten there and been okay. Other products I've gotten and it's been like, man, I don't know about this. So hopefully today is one of those ones where the item arrives, everything's in the box like they're supposed to be and we can actually do this. Sugailing. That name sounds familiar. I mean, come on, there's a fish on there for goodness sake. I mean, there's a fish on the packaging. I feel pretty good about it. So that's gonna be the mission today, guys. Of course, we're at the Juicy Ponds uh, somewhere back there. <laughs> Literally can't even see it. Wait, hold on a second. There's the Juicy Pond right there. So we are gonna take the contents of this box and of this box only. We are not gonna use anything that did not come with this uh, kit or whatever you wanna call it. I don't even know if it's considered a kit. I mean, it's a it's an entire fishing setup. It's, it's a combo, it's everything. Supposedly, I'm gonna say supposedly for the third time because I don't know what's in that box, but that's, that's what all is supposed to be in there. Well, I can't wait anymore. Let's crack this bad boy open. All right, little box. Don't even know how to open it. And we don't have a knife, so we're just gonna have to uh, kick it old school with the pliers and brute strength. Ha 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 ha. Okay, now, now we're, now we're getting to some things here. All right, first thing we're seeing right here, apparently this is the rod. It looks incredibly small and probably like a two or three piece or something like that. Ooh, bubble wrap. Aha, now here we go. Here is the reel. And this thing actually doesn't look bad at all. Don't you love it how they wrap the plastic around the reel like that? And look at that, guys. That is not a bad looking reel right there. I gotta be honest with you, Sugailing has really stepped their game up. All right, then we've got our signature Sugailing braided line right there, which is kind of like a moss green color. Looks like it's 33 pound, which is just a, a weird, a weird size. Okay. And we have the piece de resistance, which is French for box full of lures. All right, well, so just being honest, you know, uh, there's a couple things here. First of all, I am concerned about this rod. Uh, it feels, if you could feel it, it's like if there's nothing. It's so light, it's obviously gonna be small, even if it's a two or three piece rod. It can't be much longer than six feet long. A little concerned about that. The braid, not so concerned about that. It looks like it should work. 33 pounds is kind of heavy, but I mean, hey, when in Rome. The box of lures actually looks pretty cool. Some interesting colors in there. Tell you what I'm the most excited about is this reel right here. Look at this thing. This They are really stepping up their game right here. Well, first of all, I'm relieved that everything was actually in the package because like I said, it doesn't always happen like that when ordering from Wish. But since we know we have all the ingredients now for a fishing video, we have the pollen, we have rod, reel, line, lure. So we have everything that we technically need. Don't have everything we want, but that's okay. Now comes the part where we put everything together and try to make it work, try to catch fish on just this stuff. I think we can do it. Now that I've seen everything, like I said, the only concern is the rod, but everything else I feel pretty confident about. Guys, if you end up enjoying this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button for me. If you're new to my channel, do me a big favor. Hit the subscribe button. It's a red button right below the video. It doesn't mean anything. It just means you join the Lojo Fishing fam, the best subscribers 
on YouTube. It's 100% free to do, but it helps me out a lot. And finally, get in that comment section, guys, because believe it or not, I do read just about every single comment and even more unbelievable to you guys, but it's true. I take into consideration your comments for future videos. For example, this wish.com challenge was recommended by a bunch of you guys. So get in that comment section, let me know what you wanna see in the future, and I will try to tailor this channel to make you guys happy and fulfill myself. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this gigantic camera down because it's really heavy. It's time to go fishing, boys. Well, I suppose the first step in this equation is gonna be kind of taking this rod out of here and just seeing exactly what we're working with here. I'm just really concerned about this rod. Oh my gosh, it's, a, it's four pieces. Oh wow, hold on a second now. All right, piece number one, got the little handle. Actually doesn't look bad now, does it? Kind of like a carbon fiber type look with the blue accents. It's gonna look kind of weird with the green reel, but I mean, I digress. Look at that guys, and there's three more pieces right there. That is wild. We line everything up properly. That looks pretty straight to me. Okay, got that one in there pretty good. Oh, there we go. All right, snapped it into place. It's a little off-centered, but we're just gonna have to roll with it. We better make dang sure we've got this thing put together all the way. That way, if we hook into a good fish, we don't lose it. Bunch of amateurs. Oh. All right, now we got the tip. I have never put together a rod like this before. This is really cool. All right, so there we go. Um, let's see uh, any information on this rod. Um, no, no information whatsoever. So just by looking at it, I'm gonna say it's about a six foot six rod. Feels like about a medium action or maybe a medium heavy. It doesn't give us any information except that the name of it is a Sugailing. Gotta be honest with you, I'm kind of digging the way this rod looks. I mean, the blue and the carbon fiber is kind of cool looking. Let's just be honest with ourselves for just a second. If this ends up being a really cool little kit, it will it will have ended up being like one of the best purchases ever. I mean, I don't want to go too far here, I'm just saying. Let's go ahead and spool the old green reel up. It's gonna look pretty cool with this green line though. A little bit of a green on green type situation here. Not too crazy about 33 pound braid. I mean, that's pretty dang heavy. And we I don't even see a topwater lure in the bunch. So that's kind of uh, disappointing. Although at least we know our line shouldn't fail us. Let's check out this green line on here. Yep, that's exactly <laughs> what I thought it would look. Almost matching the green, not quite. A little bit more of a forest, a little darker green, but wow, there was not a lot of line on that, that spool. It's almost empty, it is empty. Holy moly. Yep, that's all right. That's it. So they must just put just enough line to spool this particular reel up and it's still not even full. So I guess it makes sense if you're selling everything all together in one one kit that, you know, you only need enough line to spool up the one reel, I guess. All right, let's affix our reel onto our rod and make sure that fits. This is as weird as I thought as I thought it would look. I mean, just look at this. Let's just appreciate this for a second. The blue multi-piece carbon fiber rod and the green cork handle reel, all by Segaling, our good friends at Segaling. One thing I am definitely concerned about, well, I have many concerns, obviously, but it's a little windy today and casting, you know, it looks like those lures are pretty small. Some smaller lures on some heavy braid with wind on, an, on a bait caster that may not be the best. We could be looking at Backlash City here. Now, what lure are we gonna start with here? Oh, there is a topwater lure. There's a little topwater frog. Well, this is getting thrown immediately. Look at look at this thing. Look at, oh, it's got little feet, little dangly feet. It's got a big skirt. It's a tiny frog, though. That's what I'm saying. This makes me nervous with how small these lures are. Tie the old trusted Palomar knot. You guys are always asking me what knot I use. I use a Palomar knot on literally 99% of my applications. All right, I'm gonna put this little kit in my pocket. That way we can change lures as we go if we need to. <clears throat> we're gonna need a scale, I don't know. If I don't bring it, I know we're gonna need it. So let's just not bring it. That way we'll probably catch a big one. Now before we ever make a cast, we're gonna have to make sure the settings on this reel are as good as they can be. So I'm gonna set the tension and the brakes and everything pretty, pretty heavy, at least in the beginning. You know, you just, I just wanna be sure we're gonna freaking crank these brakes up. Let's make our first cast with the wind kind of at our side. Okay, not not the worst thing in the world. This frog does not look bad, let me tell you. It doesn't look bad at all. Oh boy, we're in the tree. Thank goodness for 33 pound braid. Let's really try to cast this thing. <laughs> this is gonna be a disaster. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for right there. 
Oh boy, okay. Well, it doesn't seem to be that bad. No, oh, it's coming right out. Woo, okay. Well, we knew that was coming, but man, come on there, Sugailing, help me out. You may want to pump the brakes up, back up just a notch. Oh, my reel's starting to make noise now. Check this out. <laughs> Did you hear that? So that's not great. Don't really know what that is or why it's making that noise. Might be the drag, I don't even know. But that's not great after like 40, 50 casts for it to be making that kind of a noise. Tell you what else isn't great is the fact these fish will not bite this little mini frog right here. It makes me very sad. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna replace the old froggy with the lipless crankbait. There has been a little bit of a fall transition going on here lately. Also, this lure is going to be a little heavier, which is going to make it a heck of a lot easier to throw on this 33 pound braid and this reel. So maybe we can really chuck it out there to where I see a lot of fish congregating. All right, let's adjust our reel here. Should be able to open it up a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, we can chuck that thing. Really making, <laughs> really making our reel scream right there. Oh, oh man, just had one right there munching on it. Probably sitting right underneath that tree. And missed it by two years. <laughs> that was a nice little bite, a double tap on the old lipless. I was just starting to think the lipless wouldn't work because I'm really not a fan of how it runs. It doesn't run very well, kind of like goes to one side, you know, it doesn't run straight. Well, we're over two on lures and my reel's falling apart. So that's good. It's off to a very good start. I hate to do this. But we're gonna have to put the flipless down. I mean, it's just not doing it. Aside from that one bite that it got, which could have been an accident for all I know, hasn't done a whole lot. It doesn't run very well. Not crazy about the color. So I think we're gonna go with the old orange swimmy doodle here. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look completely unappetizing. The idea is that we're gonna fish this thing a little slower than that lipless crankbait. Keep it a little bit closer to the bottom. Oh man. Was that a bite or did I hit something? Man, that felt like a fish for a second. Oh my god, something just attacked it. Oh, oh I saw him come out. Look, there's mud and stuff. Everything just got kicked up. I killed it. I let it fall right by a tree. And man, something just came out and whacked it. There's one. Oh, that's a good fish too. Oh yeah, take me for a ride, buddy. We need you so bad. Oh, come on. Oh, let's use that braid. Oh yeah. That's a, that's a nice fish healthy fish oh look at that oh my god look at that right on the outside of the mouth oh boy healthy little two and a half three pounder look at that just barely skin hooked oh buddy you don't know how much that means to us man <laughs> oh man little orange swim bait guy right there we were just talking about how we're just seeing them everywhere look at that that's a stout hearty fish right there Thank you so much, buddy. We can get him back in the water real quick. Whoo, boy. Oh my goodness, that was a rush. <laughs> Look at, he bent my hook out too. Wow, he was not gonna stay on there much longer. Look at that, guys. Bent my hook out. Bent it out good too. Whoo, man, I don't know if we're gonna throw that anymore. <laughs> well, I am not gonna risk catching any more fish on that bent hook, I mean. It did its job, it caught its one fish. It's kind of like a Cinco, you know? It's a great lure, but you're only gonna get one fish out of it. I think the last thing that we haven't tried is this spoon. Now the problem is this thing is really heavy and it's got that exposed treble hook, which I'm not crazy about, simply because there's a lot of stuff out here. It's kind of, it's kind of a shallow water pond, especially now because the water levels are real down. But you know what, it's in the kit, we gotta give it a try. A lot of people swear by spoons. I don't even know how you work the dang thing. I guess you just kind of jig it, right? Like a, just kind of pop it and let it fall. I, I don't know if you just straight retrieve it. Really have no idea. I'm just gonna kind of pop it, try to keep it off the bottom, keep them treble hooks kind of clean, as clean as I can keep them. 
thought I could cast this thing as far as I want to, except for the reel. It won't let me. Oh, there he is. Oh, he followed it. Oh, yes. That was crazy. Oh, come on, Spoon. Hold him. Oh, yes. That was crazy. I was just straight retrieving it. Oh, man. Look at that guy. Right in the top of the snout with that treble. Man, he was freaking chasing. Chasing. <laughs> I watched him chase it. That was the craziest and coolest thing ever. I love bass. They're so cool looking. Almost the size of the first one. A little bit smaller, but still a healthy, stout fish. That was so crazy. I'm over here sitting, like, trying to figure out how to work this spoon. And, you know, I was jerking it. I was popping it. I was kind of yo-yoing it. But on that cast, I finally resorted to just kind of straight retrieving it. Because I was watching it as action as it was coming in on all those casts. And when I was straight retrieving it, it actually looked pretty good. So I finally decided, you know what? I'm just going to straight retrieve it, this cast. And, man, he got absolutely demolished. Oh, man, that is cool. Kind of, he just followed it and then just attacked it at the end. That is so freaking cool. Man, remind me to fish with these kinds of spoons more often. That doesn't look like a normal spoon. It's like bent and curved. Like it may be almost like it's supposed to be swam like this. So maybe I just inadvertently figured out how to fish it. I don't know if it's this like light combo or the reel or what, but man, every these fish have just felt massive even when they're not. That fish felt big too. And they're like two, two pound, two and a half pound fish. Man, I guess they're just really fired up and they're just fighting hard once they get hooked. Oh, there's another one. God, he, he knocked slack at my line. Come on, buddy. Are you gonna be the big one? I tell you, it looks bigger. It is, it's a little bit, it's actually about the same size, but they're just, they're all hardy. Man, I want you guys to look at how he ate this. That's what you call a choke job right there, guys. Wow, he inhaled that. All right, buddy. <laughs> he's bleeding just a tad out of his tongue, but he's fine. I got the hooks out nice and clean. Same size, almost a tad bit smaller, but thicker at the same time. This is just, this is, this is crazy, guys. This is an absolute buffoonery right here. <laughs> oh God, almost fell in the pond. So that time, Changed my retrieve up yet again. There's your post fish braid backlash every single time. <laughs> that time I changed my retrieve up again. I went to just a straight up like wind, 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 stop. Wind, 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 stop. And man, he hit that one so hard. I mean, he knocked slack on my line. I felt the bite, but when I leaned into it, he wasn't there for a second. That was nuts. Man, this is just, it's almost like we're figuring them out a tad. Oh man, I thought I had another one. Oh boy, now's when you start getting on edge. <laughs> You've had a couple bites on a lure, getting some confidence in that lure. Maybe, you know, it seems like maybe they're feeding on bait fish really heavily right now. There's a cold front coming in too tonight. I didn't mention that before, but that could have just completely turned them on. Wow, guys, this is all I can say is wow. I mean, this has just been a crazy adventure from start to finish. I mean, pulling this stuff out of the box had just no idea what to expect. You know, four piece ride, crazy looking reel, braided line, 33 pound, which just doesn't make any sense. All those lures, what an adventure. I tell you one thing that I'm really impressed with was the rods durability. Now, we can't say the same about the reel. The reel was squealing after 50 casts and who knows how much longer this reel will make it in this world but this rod every single fish we caught we pretty much had to flip it up onto the shore and you know we knew the braid wasn't going to be a problem it was going to be heavy enough to handle any of this stuff but that rod that four piece little janky rod held up pretty good in fact if i was to grade this entire kit i'd give it a solid c plus because you know the lures were okay the reel was eh but the rod ended up being pretty good so i give it a solid c plus for all around effort now, when you're ordering something from Wish, you just have to temper your expectations, guys. You know that. Hopefully, some of you have some experience with some of this online stuff. But anytime I see something like that with an entire fishing gear, you know, in one purchase, I'm going to do that every single time because it's just a whole lot of fun. We tried every single lure. You know, we started off with the frog, the lipless crankbait. Somehow, I didn't get a bite on either one of those. I'm just still shocked now that I didn't get a bite on either one of those. But, hey, you know what? We figured them out. We threw that swim bait hook on there, that little orange swim bait. Got a nice little fish right off the bat. Probably the biggest fish of the day. Now, he did bend my hook out, which goes back to the whole point about this gear being Eh, okay, not great. Wouldn't fish a tournament with any of this stuff, but hey, if you're fun fishing, messing around like I was today, 
why not? And finally, we put the spoon on there, and the spoon was the deal, which is just hilarious because I am not a spoon fisherman at all. In fact, listen to this. I got four different bites on the spoon. Each one of those bites, I was working it a different way. So maybe the spoon was just, just the deal today. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And like I said in the beginning, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. It's free. It really helps me out. Let's me know that the fan base is growing, and I really feel like it is because you guys are just awesome. Get in that comment section. Let me know if you have any experience with Wish.com or how you feel about that kit. You know, which lure would you like to throw? How you think I did? Any of that stuff? I love hearing from you guys. You know that. But I am getting out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. On to the next fishing adventure. Hand palm. I'm out.